What's up everybody? This is uh, going to be my uh, best uh, beginner tees and uh, I'll be showing you the ones that I have obviously in my collection. This is also a, uh, a special video for uh, Nick Johns and uh, his kids. I'm going to kind of go in order here. I'm basically going to be going like 8 to 1st um, and 1st will be what I think is the best beginner species. Um, but you know, temperament, moodiness, all that kind of stuff, price, all that little stuff, it'll be into a kind of consideration here of, of what order I put these as far as which ones I think, uh, you know, the best will be uh, overall. So, first off, uh, we'll start here. A very good beginner species is my G. Pokra, Gracie here. She is pretty close to three inches, two and a half, 2.75. Um, these are great beginner species. They're a little bit harder to find. I got lucky uh, that I found this girl when I did. They can be somewhat moody. Uh, this girl here, she is uh, pretty much just maybe a little bit skittish. I'm, I've never ever seen her flick hairs um, or anything like that. Um, usually these uh, are going to be a little bit more pricey because they are rare um, to find or at least harder to find. But either way, I mean, you know, this is a fantastic uh, beginner tee. If you do, you know, if you do get lucky to find one like I did, um, obviously you can always check online uh, the various uh, websites in the U.S. and U.K., which I'm sure most of you already know about. So, like this girl, I got her for like 60 bucks a year and a half ago. Uh, she was uh, she molted once in my care. Uh, so, I mean, for, you know, for about two and a half inch, uh, you know, that's not, that's not too bad. Um, and I got, I actually found her in a pet store. Well, usually, I, you know, I don't buy very much from pet stores, but, you know, it was just too, too good of a deal to pass up. So I just like, well, screw it. But once again, G Poker is a very good beginner species, um, and I would highly recommend them. All right, this is another good beginner. Um, I would not recommend getting one this small. <laughs> um, they're, you know, if you get one that's uh, two to three inches, it's not too bad. Um, I'm trying to remember, I can't remember the prices off the top of my head, but I think it's somewhere, give or take, around 60 bucks or so. Um, it's been a while since I've looked online. But this is a B. Smithy. Must have in any uh, hobbyist collection. The most known, I would say, tarantula in the world. Um, they're very easy to take care of. You know, they don't require too, too much hit, uh, humidity. Just as with uh, all the Grammys too. You know, once again, the cornerstone of the hobby, easy to take care of, very beautiful. Pretty much can be somewhat hair, you know, hair flicky, um, but I've seen other ones on YouTube and online that are, you know, super sweet. Um, so this is definitely um, a, a very good beginner species and one that I know a lot of people do get. So all right, let's go on to the next. All right, this next one here is the uh, GBB. Uh, another, uh, in my opinion, must-have. Um, they are a little bit uh, more uh, skittish and defensive than some of the previous ones. And once again, you know, each tarantula, like, you know, has its own way. So you could think you'd be getting a super sweet one, and then it could molt, and it could be an absolute evil tea. So you just never really know. Uh, uh, they're fantastic display tarantulas. This sling I got for uh Thirty-five dollars. So I mean, you know, if you don't mind buying a sling, at least this size, um, you might want to see if you can get one uh, a little bit bigger. But I mean, they are super hardy regardless. It's not something you have to worry about, like an avic. So these make definitely a, a very good beginner species. They eat like pigs. They're gorgeous as slings and as adults. They web all over the place, um, and they're relatively cheap if you get slings like this. GBB is definitely a great beginner. And I highly recommend it. Uh, so, all right. All right. Another good beginner species is the uh, Paraphyza scophora, which all you can see is her butt right here. She just went down in her uh, little cave after I picked up her enclosure. Um, you do, you can find these online. Um, I know I've seen them online. They're not too, too expensive if I remember right. But for the most part, you know, they're very, uh, pretty doggone docile. I mean, obviously, you know, temperaments will vary. Um, but she is an awesome girl. She has, sometimes she doesn't eat, uh, but I would say 80% of the time she will pretty much take it down whether it's on camera or not. 
Um, and, uh, you know, whenever I first got her uh, and I took her out, you know, I did handle her for a little bit. Um, she's not too skittish, um, but just, uh, you know, just because she can be somewhat skittish, I really don't handle her very often. Um, but Parafyza Sculpher is a definitely a, a good beginner, my, in my opinion. If you just so happen to look on the internet and you're like, well, I think they look nice and you want to get it, um, you should have no problems just as long as you know you, with any teas or any, any uh, exotic pet, you make sure, you know, you do your homework, so. Okay, here is a very good beginner, uh, tarantula, the a Avic. You can find these in pet stores. Um, they might be wild caught. Um, they're very cheap. You can get, you know, pretty much a adult on 20, 25 bucks at a pet store or online for even cheaper. Um, you do have to watch the uh, humidity with these. I would recommend between 70 and 80. You kind of keep an eye on them a little bit more than maybe you would have some of the other teas I mentioned. Um, but they are fantastic. They're usually extremely docile. They um, might poop on you, which I don't, he, he pooped on me once a little bit after I first got him. But other than that, you know, he's usually just real relaxed. Um, he doesn't eat very much, which I'm sure you've seen from my other feeding videos, but any time I've had to uh, try to clean up the enclosure or do something like that, he's just kind of came out and crawled right up on my arm. So a Avic, a fantastic beginner. Uh, especially if you want your first one to be a uh, arboreal instead of terrestrials like the other ones, ground dwelling ones. Very good beginner species and I would definitely highly recommend it. Alright, these next uh, couple beginner species I'm just going to talk about why we're looking at this uh, tea here. Um, this is my uh, E. Camp e Campestratus, the Pink Zirby Beauty, the, actually the second tea I ever bought. So with these, uh, you know, they get about five to six inches they're pretty bulky. Um, for the most part, um, they're very relaxed, very docile. This little girl here, she's actually pretty skittish. She was super relaxed and super laid back when I first got her. And then after she molted, and ever since the past couple of months, she's just been a uh, just a little wussy. So she usually chills here in her little cave. Uh, and then at night, she kind of comes out and wanders around. Um, these are these have. Uh, from my experience, very good, um, you know, feeding response. She eats like a pig. I got her for, she was, uh, f let's see here, four inches or so, and it was about 65 bucks. So, you know, it's going to be um, a little bit more up there as far as the price range. I mean, unless unless you, you know, are willing to buy a, a you know, tiny sling, you can get them pretty cheap. They are super slow growing, um, so they live quite a long time, um, just like, um, uh, you know, your Smithy can be slow, is pretty relatively kind of slow growing. Your Grammys can be relatively slow growing. Now, obviously, this depends on if you have a male or female. It depends if you power feed or not, you know, how often you feed them. Um, but overall, you know, this one is going to live a long time. So I would definitely recommend this as one of the beginners. Also, I'll just, like I said before, talk the other ones, a Chaco Golden E, which are super cheap, live a very long time. They can be very laid back other ones can be kind of evil it just you know it depends temperaments will vary um, of course you have the G Rosea which is one of the most known um, I say I would say I mean you can get one of these they are probably one of the most moody out of all the teas that I'm going to uh, talk about that or I have talked about um, I personally would not recommend them but from the experience I've seen you know, they can be a little bit more moody but you never know I mean you can get one that's a complete sweetheart and they're super cheap I mean, you can get them at pet stores for like ten, twenty dollars, and they live a very long time. Um, so, a G Rosea is the, another one I wanted to mention. You have the curly hair, um, which is another extremely cheap, uh, very uh, long-lived uh, tarantula. You know, a fantastic beginner. Um, they can be somewhat flicky, just like all brachies can. And I've seen ones that are super sweet, you know, can basically pick them up and they just don't even care what's going on at all. They're just completely relaxed. And I've even seen a couple of videos of some evil curly hairs. Okay, so to the number one uh, best beginner species, and I'm sure as most of you know, I've squawked enough about these two goofballs, the uh, Euthala species red. Um, in my experience, I have never had a more docile um, and and actually, you know, uh, very uh, inquisitive, actually. Um, and uh, these two girls here, sometimes Stella here, 
likes to, you know, whenever I move around her cave, her enclosure will kind of go in her cave. But I've never once seen a threat posture, um, ever flicked a hair, um, anything at all. You know, obviously, as any tarantula, when you pick up the enclosure, they might get a little bit spooked. But, I mean, if somebody picked up my house and started moving it around, I'd be pretty uh, freaked out, too. So that's, you know, understandable. Um, I've had these uh, two girls for a while now. Um, and they're both fantastic. They both actually have very good uh, feeding responses. They're relatively cheap. They only get around three, maybe three and a half inches at the most. They can live a pretty doggone lo long time. They are slow growing, but the, uh, the upside of that, like I said, is they live a long time. Um, obviously, if you get a male, it's a slightly different story. Um, and I got uh, Stella here on the left uh, from Jamie's tarantulas. She was, she was like 50 bucks is uh, Sophie. She's uh, not quite full grown. I say she's two and a half inches. She's even more relaxed and more inquisitive than Stella is. She's the one that I handle. Um, now when I do handle these girls, especially uh, Sophie here, I don't actually handle them by like me actually testing them and taking them out of the enclosure. The only time I will actually handle any of my teas is whenever she is at night literally crawling around the top of her enclosure and I literally just pop off the top and she literally crawls onto my hand. I don't actually like to um, you know take them out um, you know and make them make them come out. I would much rather have them do it themselves so that way there's you know little stress and you know she just goes on a little walkabouts and she's a happy little girl as she's doing now. Um, so once again this is my personally favorite the best um, beginner species you can own hands down a close second would be the pink zebra beauty or uh, the curly hair and uh, most of these teas are pretty close to the same humidity um, the avic obviously is the only exception it's about 70 to 80 but ecampistratus likes it maybe a little bit more humidity uh, about 65 or 70 but most of these are pretty much your magic number is going to be right around 60 humidity wise and uh, so, you know, all you got to do is fill up a water dish and uh, you can even just put like a little thing of moss here on the side next to the water dish or under the water dish, which is usually what I do. And then when it overflows, um, you know, and of course, if you want to add a little bit and just kind of squirt the side, very easy to take care of. They live very long. They're extremely sweet. And uh, these are definitely the best beginner for the, uh, for the price, for the temperament, for the, you know, for the, uh, the as far as taking care of, how easy they're to take care of. This is uh, a little uh, request kind of for uh, Nick Johns especially because um, he wanted to see more of these two little girls of mine and so I was uh, very happy to oblige him on that. Um, Sophie's being a little bit more uh, sneaky right now trying to hide a little bit because of the light which I understand. But yes uh, Nick I look forward to uh, seeing you know these little uh, this little one that you have get bigger a fantastic trash of the own and I would definitely recommend it so um, once again if there's anything that you want to see um, you know as far as my collection or anything please feel uh, free to ask and I'll help you out in any way I can alright guys as always thanks for watching take care